Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! My name is Dragon the Willem Fuzzbottom Jr. and these are some of my patrons. Nicole Spicer, Snow Hazard, Lit Dragon, Wario Land Go Pyramid, Ella Enchanted, and a special thanks to my special sponsor, Theo Vellum. Now, as we get this game here loaded up today, I would like to request that you let me know what you think of today's video. And if for whatever reason you don't like today's video, then please, let me know why. We, we don't start in a dungeon. Gosh dang it. Meet you there. You know... Being a pink rabbit... More specifically, being a rabbit at all and having this buzzer circling around me, it does not make me feel good. You, come here. I know I can kill you. Uh, you know, I thought this game had better save points than it appears to actually have. I thought for sure, if you save in a dungeon, you would load in a dungeon. But apparently that's not the case. Anyway, when we last left off, I did some exploring around Hyrule and... You know, exploring was so fun that I had no idea the video went on for I don't know how long it went on for. But apparently, it was quite enjoyable. And so I just kept going until I reached a dungeon. And that is where we are now, in the next dungeon. I was about to say dungeon number two, but um, at this point I've lost track of how many dungeons we've gone into. Also, there's totally a laser thing up here. Excuse me while I hide. There. Now, let's see here. In this dungeon I'm not so familiar with, so there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to get lost. And you will have to forgive me for that. However, I have beaten this dungeon more than once. So there's a pretty good chance that I'll be able to beat it again. Oh boy, things shooting things at me. Um, this is not the way to go. However, just so you know, this leads to this spot right here where we can just hop out of the dungeon if we want to. I don't know why we would want to, but we have that option. Alright, let's see here. This door's locked. I'm going to look for a key, and I know where the key is, so let's actually head towards the key first before we do anything else. It's going to be right over in this room? Yes. I do kind of have an idea where I'm going in this dungeon. No, don't grab the, don't grab the thing. Those running shoes, ow, are going to be very much helpful as we go through this adventure. Not only for quickly getting from place to place, but also because, well, situations like that. Ooh, you're purple. You must take less hits? No, same amount of hits. Hmm. I must have got confused about their health because they went underground and lost track of which one I was hitting. That is my guess. Treasure! Oh boy. Don't miss, little bunny Link. Here, you can't miss like this. Alright, there's the map. So let's check this place out. No. Not that option. Not that option. Thought it was select. Where is the map? Why did I forget? How did I forget? It's the X button. Alright, so... We got three floors here. We're currently in the basement, it seems. Which is weird when you consider we had to climb up a flight of stairs in order to get into this place. But, um, sure. Pause button. Oh, right, right. X. X. It is the X button, which we are looking for. I should try lighting these. See if that does anything. Hopefully, I don't use up too much magic doing this. No. Anytime you see unlit pedestals like that... You really want to see what happens if you light them. Because more often than not, especially in Zelda games, lighting a pedestal 
We'll uh, do stuff. I don't necessarily know what stuff. Let's see. There's nothing of importance in this room. You just walk in here and it's a trap. In fact... That's the fairy. I'm about to get hit. Uh, and indeed I got hit. Go, befriend! Ooh, you're really going at it. Aww. Now I'm going to have to go after another one. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. We'll, I'll come back to this door in a bit. As soon as I find my way out of here. Oh my goodness. I am not good at sword combat. You know what? This is what I'm good at. Come here, you. Your hitbox wasn't active yet. Now it is. There we go. <sighs> what I need is a cheat for infinite arrows. Because that is what I'm good at. Anyway, I'll meet you back at that gate. By the way, in case you're wondering why that exit over there exists in the first place, it's because these reset every single time. How unfortunate. I suppose what I'm going to want to do here is when I release my B, don't release it for very long. I mean, obviously, but I mean like, ooh. Just let it loose. Let it attack a couple of enemies, and then skedaddle and get it. I said skedaddle because I want to skedaddle from this room. And quickly rush up. Darn. I thought that would work. So, well, we got the big key anyway. This room is pretty simple, actually. Surprisingly, though... Those things are not shooting very hard. Normally, it's like, like a constant stream. Which is ultimately why I went back in there, because, wait, shouldn't those things fr shooting more frequently? I feel like they should. Maybe that was something that was caused by the editing of this game. I want arrows, I want health, just give me whatever you have. Gotta love that they... Well, I was about to say, gotta love that they can shoot through walls, but he wasn't actually shooting through the wall, he was shooting through the corner of the wall. That's entirely different. And not exactly... acceptable. In fact, I dare say, it is unacceptable. But I'll get used to it. Alright, let's head over here. Pots will not protect you. Alright, here's the switch I was looking for. Button, switch, whatever. Duh! Stop looking at me! I, I can't help... I can't help it that I'm pink. It's too bad you can't blow these things up. In Ocarina of Time you can. Just toss a bomb on it. There you go. See if lighting these up does anything useful. Nope. Oh well. You got the power glove! It's so bad. I'm sorry, I had to make that joke. You feel great strength in your paws. You can pick up and carry stones now. I was hoping there would be another text edit in this episode. All we're gonna be doing here is like... Explore a dungeon and stuff, so... I wasn't really sure... If there would be a text edit coming. But, there's our mandatory text edit for this episode. I'm gonna save the ice rod. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it works on the boss. But it's worth trying. Love the bow and arrow, by the way. Like I said, I am not a swordsman. I'm an archer. I do well with long range attacks. Especially, except in first-person shooters. I can't aim for beans. 
Did I just walk over the top of that? Whatever. Fairies? I don't need a f any fairies. I got a bottle fairy right now. Alright. Gotta try. That did nothing for me. So, here's the interesting thing about this dungeon. It's half and half. Half the dungeon... Well, I just went through half the dungeon. And now I'm out here, where I can explore the other half of the dungeon. Unlike in Terranigma, on the, that, that is something. Something! I'm bringing up Terranigma, because, hey, look! There's still another half of the dungeon, but I can see the whole place! It's hard to get lost when you can see the map of the whole dungeon and not just half of it. Ugh, that game. Oh, I was about to see if I could swipe you with my sword. I could try swapping you with my boomerang. I don't know why I have the boomerang specifically equipped, but sure. Can I kill you with this? Yep, eventually. Alright, and here's why we wanted that power glove. We can now lift up these eight pound rocks. That's what I'm assuming they're gonna be, eight pounds. Let's see here, anything else out here? No? Alright, into the second half of the dungeon. Wow, that looks foreboding, or something like that. Hmm. So that's where the eyes in that statue went to. That's gotta be weird. Having your eyes outside of your head. Not that those are real eyes, it's just a random thought I had. Don't notice me. Alright, I think I'll just go ahead and sit here for a moment. Try and guess why. Uh, all I really need to do in this room is find the key, and then I can just move on to the next room. However, uh, I don't really feel like dodging these things. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing. It looks like they should be able to hit me. But the hitbox for the room ends at the bottom of the wall. So they can't actually go into the door. Well, there's my key. Still wouldn't mind a little something something for these pots though. There's a heart. I already have health though. By the way, it is worth noting that stairs do appear on the map. They just don't appear on the map until you've actually... Well, I'm not sure if you have to use them or if you just have to be in the room that has them. It's not important, though. I mean, it would be nice if the stairs were visible on the map at all times. Kind of give you an idea of what direction you're supposed to go, but... Whatever. Oh boy, these eye laser things are everywhere. You know, just for funsies. I don't think this will work. Especially if I don't press the right button. Just try that one more time. Nope. For a moment there, I thought it changed eye color, because I thought I saw one of them have a blue eye, but maybe because I had the screen paused while it was flashing its laser or something? I don't know. Not important. Too bad the bombs don't work. Like I said, these guys are also in Ocarina of Time. They're actually a little bit easier in that game, too. Their lasers aren't so fast. Mind you, once they look at you, they're... That is annoying. Stop. Stop. Once they start looking at you in Ocarina of Time, they don't stop looking at you and just slowly laser at you. 
Oop, hold on. Let me just hide in the wall again. So, though, these guys, even though they shoot you once, those are fast lasers. And you can't kill them, as we've established. That looks like it's supposed to be the entrance to the boss that there. But, it's not. We still got just a bit more dungeon to go after this. Just need to find the key again. There we go. Alright. Let's see here. This room, we absolutely do need to light torches. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I had to double check. The, sh the screen is rapidly shaking, in case you can't tell. It says shaking at a rate that the capture can't capture at all. Just so you know, just imagine that the screen was just like rapidly shaking like the entire time and not like every so often there was a little shake. Someday, someday I will get enough patrons that I can afford to go ahead and increase my internet speed so that I can do this at 50, 60 frames per second. Alright, what do I want to do here? Well, step one is to find out if Mr. B is good against the boss. Probably not. Nope, not doing a thing. At least this time I caught the bee again. Step two, see if the ice rod works. If it does work... Ooh, it does work, but my gosh, does it cost a lot of MP. The answer is yes. Yes, it does. So, that's not ideal. Does this do anything for me? Ooh, when they pop out, they shoot rocks in four directions. Try not to miss. Try not to miss. It is very difficult to not miss. Nah, that's bouncing off of them. I mean, yeah, I know I could just go ahead and swing at them with my sword. But, you know, that's annoying. Because they go in all sorts of directions here. Hmm, might be easier though. Unless I can bomb them. Here, have a bomb. Bombs take too long to explode. Alright, I guess I'll just use my sword. Ow. This is interesting, by the way. That, in order to defeat the boss, it does not require... the use of the item that you found in the dungeon. This was before that formula started. In this case, I just need to whack him with my sword. Hard part is doing that without getting so close to them that my health gets low and we have to have this entire fight with that beeping noise. I really wish there was an easier way to deal with these guys. Once they're down to the last one, by the way, they shoot rocks in six directions. Or maybe eight. It's entirely possible that was eight directions. Oh, and he only needed one hit, too. Well, that's okay. It was either that or endure the beeping noise for five more seconds. I can find another fairy. Seriously, though, is there a better way to defeat those guys rather than just rushing in with your sword? Because 
that just doesn't seem ideal to me. Or maybe I just suck. Anyway, got the pendant of wisdom. My goal of finding three pennants is in sight. Go for the last one! Um, maybe later. You're gonna have to trust me on this. Well, first off, we're not even gonna be able to reach that last pearl for a couple episodes. Because it's a little bit out of the way. Because we're down here. The last pearl courage thing is up here. But we gotta go through all this. Alright, well, since we apparently wind up loading the game at my house, let's see if I can find my way to my house. I mean, I know it's not this way, first off. I'm just trying to... There's another cave somewhere around here. I think it's up here. Can I blow this up? There's a way to get over there. I already have my bombs out. No. I forget how to get over there. Oh well. Anyway, now that we have this big old thing... I was looking at the thing. Now that we have the power glove... Ooh. Dang. How did I get up onto this ledge? I can't remember. Maybe there's a staircase. We can... Lift up rocks now. Even the big ones. There we go. Let's take care of this situation real quick. Oh, you're just a thief. Where am I going to use this money? I need to use this money somewhere before I max out at 999. Check out the cave east of Lake Helia. Strange and wonderful li things live in it. Yeah, I was already there. You mean the ice rod, right? Yep. Already took care of. Well, I honestly can't remember... How you get up on that ledge up there. Your trial in the desert has made you stronger. The blood of the hero must be in your veins. Uh-huh, sure. Can you tell me how to get to that one place? Alright, as I look at these two rocks over here, I just remembered how you're supposed to get up there. Or at least I think I remember how you're supposed to get up there. And we're not actually going to be able to get up there for a while. So let us just head on back towards my house and... Uh, if there's anything along the way of interest, I'll just let you know. Well, there is this little handy shortcut. I can lift this up now. This is near where the Ocarina Kid is. And my house is right up here. What does it say when you can outrun an arrow? Probably not a whole lot. Probably just says you can now run an arrow. I feel like there's something else I could do before we actually end this. I mean, there's the witch who would be giving me the magic powder, which I actually am going to really want, but... That's actually going to be relevant in the next dungeon, so probably not a good idea to go after it right now. Hmm, I guess if the gray ones are 8 pounds and I can lift them, but this also has an 8, but I can't lift it. It's probably 8 tons. It's like made of dark matter or something. Anyway, talking to this guy was helpful before, so let's go ahead and check him out. If only because it's something to spend my money on. You will meet Zora living in a lake at the river's source. Unfortunately, your fur will take ages to dry. <laughs> That's right. That's actually going to be a good thing to do. But, mmm. We're not going to have time for that. No, no. So, let's see here. Down at the bottom of the screen, 
is all of my patrons. And next time, I guess we're gonna do some more exploration on our way to the next dungeon. Which, as we've already established, is up here. So let me figure it out specifically where I'm going. Well, let's see here. Over there is the witch's house where I'm gonna get some magic powder, which is definitely gonna be useful for this dungeon here. Along with that, I'm gonna meet the king of the Zoras, like Mr. Person said. And... Mm, I don't know that there's anything else along the way this way. <sighs> Exploring these mountains, though... Gonna take a bit.